Friday, folks. So uh, I am tilling some ground. Uh, I've got my phone kind of clipped to my mirror here, so I hope it ain't too bad. Shaky, but anyway, um, yeah, I'm uh, gonna take another risk, try to plant some more seed <laughs> on some more ground I've got here. Um, so I've been uh, working and tilling this ground up. Uh, one of you asked me a comment a while back about why am I tilling this ground up since I got a no till drill. Well, the deal is, uh, this field in particular, and some of these others, um, they had beans and wheat, both of them this year. And uh, the wheat stubble is still really thick here on the fields. And um, then had the bean stubble on top of that. And, uh, Two things, uh, I could no-till through it, but I won't get a very uniform depth control, especially as shallow as I'm trying to plant some of the seed. Um, and uh, the other thing is, this stuff's so thick that um, it's not gonna rot and decompose uh, before I get a hay crop on say next spring. I really didn't want to be raking this stuff up into uh, into the hay and bailing it up. Uh, I uh, I kind of wanted this to uh, uh, go back into the ground and regain any nutrients that I might can get from it. I don't know be much. But, uh, so that's what I'm doing. I'm trying to till it under. I'm gonna have to make two, maybe three on, on some fields. I've had to do three passes. I, I may have to do that here. Um, but uh, that's what I'm doing today. I'm using the 6415 and I've got the 14 uh, foot John Deere AW disc behind me. And uh, I've got it uh, angle to its maximum turning capability right now. Uh, the hydraulic cylinder ain't going all the way to the bottom and having to hold the, the hydraulic lever down here a little bit longer to make sure it goes all the way down. But anyway, uh, yeah, um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna make these first passes with uh, angles of the disc at their sharpest angle. And then uh, when I make my second and or third pass, I'll actually uh, uh, move it back to its least angle where it's more of a finishing disc. Uh, and that'll help smooth things over and bust up little clods and things. And uh, then I'll, I'll finally run over it with a uh, uh, game cult packer. Um, so it's, it's two cult packers in one, and uh, so one runs behind the other uh, that we've got. It always worked for a while. But anyway, um, <clears throat> No new tractor yet. Um, still, um, still negotiating with Deer a little bit. Um, we, um, still, you know, still just trying to work some things out. Um, kind of narrowed it down to one tractor. Um, and that's what I'm kind of pursuing. Um, there's just. Um, there was a few little options that weren't on it that I wanted, and uh, they're not too terribly expensive to have done, and uh, they're kind of working on me, uh, working with me on that, and uh, so I'm probably going to get that, and just some other little odds and ends uh, on 
Amadeo that are increasing the bottom line price a little bit and uh, been going back and forth on that so still working on it um, you know I um, hadn't signed on any dotted line just yet and, uh, we'll, uh, we'll see uh, to what happens I uh, I'm actually today's Thursday uh, I'm actually off work today I didn't mean to be off work. I was going to be off work tomorrow, which was just kind of the plan, but uh, I had some calves out this morning, and uh, they were over near the barn, and uh, I got them back in. I thought, well, I'm just going to get them up. I had one take the gate out of the barn and took the gate with it, so you can imagine. So, uh, one of our local sale barns actually has a sale. Uh, Today. I don't normally use them, but uh, I decided to go ahead and load them up here before they tore my barn completely down. But, uh, and a couple of them had been jumping the fence and getting in the yard and trying to find green grass, which I can't blame them as dry as it is, but uh, I was a little tired of running them back in, so they would just hop right over the fence. Uh, so they got to the, they got to the size they need to go. So that happened this morning, and I thought, well, I need to do this plowing because we got some chances of rain coming back in again. Uh, I'm hoping we'll actually get something this time. I wanted to get this tilled up before that rain came, till the cult pack it at least, and then come in behind it. And what I'm gonna do on this ground? Probably since it's so late, I mean, we're going into the latter part of November here now. Um, I'm gonna do ryegrass, and uh, I've got enough crimson clover left over to uh, throw on these, you know, to cover this ground. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put that out with it. I don't know if it'll do anything or not, but we'll see. But uh, that's uh, well, that's the plan. Anyway. That's what I'm doing. Just uh, stirring up the dust. Thanks for watching. See ya.